What kind of baker doesn't have a rolling pin? <laughs> no, I don't like it's English again yeah, that's making me because oh. I was on seven this to Lorraine. Lorraine You need he me. Welcome back to my channel. This is Baker Like Anita. If you are new here, welcome. And I hope you will stay and enjoy this video. If you are returning, I rescribe. <laughs> hey, okay. Today I'm doing a video of um, Lorraine Pascal's uh, recipe book. I wanted to do a review on the whole book, but then I thought. I haven't done a recipe from this book in a long time so this video is happening I'm actually making the so that's how it's supposed to come out they are called fan tans um, and that's what I'm going to be making today purely because I saw that I have most of the ingredients and it looks just technical enough for me to kind of push myself so I hope you enjoy this video um, and then my next video is going to be me reviewing my experience of having the whole book because I've had it for about just over a year now um, so I've done quite a few other recipes in here but I don't want to talk too much about that let's get started on the actual video for this recipe you need 500 grams of flour 110 grams of butter one sachet of yeast and 300 milliliters of milk that's oat milk that i'm using that's why it's brown a tablespoon of syrup and some salt the recipe looks quite long it's two pages actually so let me melt the butter and warm up the milk let's put the flour in a large bowl and add salt and maple syrup on one side and yeast to the other side okay uh, put the flour in a large bowl she doesn't mention yet which large bowl or kind of the ingredients don't the method doesn't speak about um if you're using a mixer or if you're using your hand because i think the process would be a little bit different if you're using a mixer as opposed to mixing by hand but that's fine add the yeast to the other side ah uh, I don't feel like this recipe is well written. Add four tablespoons of the melted butter and three quarters of the warm milk to the bowl. Sharp. And then gently move the flour around with your fingertips. Okay. Continue to add the remaining milk a little at a time. So you can add the remaining milk, but it doesn't say anything about adding the remaining butter. Because now it's saying add four tablespoons of the melted butter. It didn't say add the rest of the melted butter anyway. Until you've picked up all of the flour. Keep checking the texture as you add the milk. As you'll probably not need all of it. So play it by ear type of vibe. Spray the work surface with the oil. Haibo. Uh, so you just add, basically she's saying add four tablespoons of butter pill what i'm gonna read the rest because it has to account for the rest of the butter somewhere no way i will talk about this in the review of this book because right now and it's not fun okay let me just do this let me focus so we have to add four tablespoons of this butter i've added one Three, 
So that is how the dough looks at the end of like five or so minutes. So am I supposed to be rolling this by hand because I'm quite confused now. I'm confused. You needed me. I was so... Today is pretty hot like to a point where I'm sweating right now so I'm hoping that means something good. I'm just gonna try and find a spot that I think is warm. I'll probably put it in the cupboard honestly. Hi, what's wrong, Seven This is Lorraine. Lorraine. She said a little oil and I said no. I'm gonna give you more. I've never sprayed cling film with oil before. But cool. If that's what you want. You want it, I got it, don't get it, I got it, tell them to build, tell to be quiet. Tax on me, patrol no ice, little pop bottles all night, baby, you can have whatever you like. The dough has risen. I feel like it's more than doubled in size, but that's okay. So I'm just going to flour the surface. I don't know if it said flour or... Wow, yes, I guessed right. Lightly floured. Sabu salt bay yangji. Right, this next part feels very... Yeah, that's how this next part feels to me. I don't have a rolling pin either, so there we go. What kind of baker doesn't have a rolling pin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, this works for me personally. So I don't have a ruler either, don't have a rolling pin, don't have a ruler, but I'm using this, um, it's like a scraper but also doubles as a bread cutter and it has these measurements on it so I'm going to use the centimeter side, it goes up to 15 centimeters so yeah I'm just going to have to use some mats and see how big um, yeah, it goes. I hope this is thin enough because otherwise, I will. I 
I've got 40 I've measured here 40 that side I cut I fell short so I added a little bit and then this side is the only side that was like yeah also I had to add somewhere there so that's basically what it looks like now I just have to measure that part and then cut a lot of it out square then the good sis says okay I trimmed down the square until it's exactly 40 by 40 <laughs> then cut it into 10 strips wait 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 so I must brush two tablespoons of melted butter over the dough square shop my pastry brush is very ghetto but it does the job cut into 10 strips each four centimeters wide yo mathematics yes, yes. Using a sharp knife, cut into eight slices, four by four, four by four on the island. Then I need to brush these with some butter. No shame, the end is near. Um, so now I have to put these into the muffin tray this side up and then i'm going to have to leave them to rise again So this is what they look like after they have risen. I put the extras in there. That one looks a little bit smaller than the other ones, but um, I'm pretty happy with how they came out. I'm just gonna brush it with the syrup and then put them in the oven and then when they are ready I'm going to put the sugar on top and put them back again.
so I just wanted to taste one of the fan tans so this is what they look like in the end I think I did achieve the general shape of it um, but this one had already like broken off so this is the one I'm gonna taste I think you eat it by splitting them like that I think that makes sense um, They taste okay. I really like the bread actually. It's like very soft here on the inside and on the outside where it's like golden brown. It's very crispy so I like that. Um, I just wish that the recipe made you put more of the, the sugar and cinnamon or the spicy, the sugar, cinnamon and ginger. I wish it was also layered in between here or just better incorporated on top as the glaze. I feel like I'm not tasting it as much as I'd want to taste it, but the bread is like really good. I'm actually proud that I, the bread doesn't taste yeasty, which is what it tasted like the last time I tried to make bread. Hmm. I'm just thinking maybe next time I should add hmm I don't know what I'll do but basically the only sugar in the whole recipe is really here on top and with the syrup glaze um but it does taste nice where you do get the sugar um so there's that but I think they look um let me actually see if they look like the book hmm hers are more rounded than mine I don't know maybe I'm just being too critical but yeah that's what they look like um, I actually enjoy the taste of this I like bread also so this is great to know um, maybe next time I should add sugar in the dough and see what happens there but I think they rose really well um, and I like the consistency and fluffiness and just softness of the bread it's very nice Um, that's the end of this video if you enjoy this please give me a huge thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of the whole process and if you are interested in this book I think the next video that I'm going to share is of me reviewing the whole book actually um, so please stay tuned and subscribe to this channel because as you can see as you can see see on